Watch out, watch out, watch out. That's how we do things on the West Coast. Every time I screw around on camera, something happens to me. I don't know what that was, man, but something stung me. You got a little sting? Yes. This is a dual purpose dip net slash gator stick. Have you had to push a gator with that thing? That is the fattest gator I've ever seen. The fact that it is the black speckles, that's melanistic. Usually those are only in males. Oh, holy smokes, Randy. What'd you get? What? Holy and Ryan is just, did you get a diamond ring? What is it? Look at how, what do you got? What do you have? <gasps> Whoa. Look at this. This is a, uh, just a, a lake, right, Ryan? Ryan from Wild's Fish Tank? Sure, I don't know. What, what do we call it? Like a little overflow thing? Um, Ryan says we're gonna find some, gonna find some treasures in this water. I'm pretty, oh, there's a bird. There's a bird, where's my camera? Let's see how, I don't see a lot of grass. I haven't been to this spot in a couple months. The perfect dip net. I haven't held one of these since Peru. Oh, it's an angel. Get that angel. <laughs> these things have been like night and day. <laughs> Compared to your butterfly net and your little, yes, absolutely night and day. <laughs> There's definitely gators in that darker water, well, man. FYI, this is this this is a dual purpose dip net slash gator stick. Have you had to push a gator with that thing? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Should have brought the GoPro. Let's try for these little guys first. First dip net of the session. What did we get? What, like 95% chance these are Gambusia? Probably. That's all right. Somewhere. Yep. There we go. There's the first fish on this Florida collecting trip. Little Gambusia. Like my normal, if I'm going for something, it's just like an overhand swipe. Like there's some Gambusia right there, I can tell. You know, and grab them. Oh, actually, it's a darter. That is a darter. That looks like to be a, that is a swamp darter. A swamp darter, nice. Tiny. They get three or four inches and much thicker. Cool. Yeah. And that's a native, yeah? Not that is a native species. Nice. Yep, that's a native species. They are like a bottom dweller. Cool. Let them go. So the other method is like a lot of times if you're trying to get like golden top minnows or sometimes fish that like to hang up underneath it, you may go like something like that underneath the vegetation or come up like that underneath the vegetation. Mm -hmm. Um, depending See, on in, the area. Intuitively, that's one. That's the one that feels more intuitive. Like the overhand, like smash down, seems weird. But I get that it works though. Depending on the area, if you have a nice, if you have a nice kind of, uh, it's a little mucky here. If you have a nice sandy bottom, and you, let's say you want to get darters, you want to get crayfish, then you want to get a nice like bottom drag and hold it to the bottom. But if it's really mucky, then you end up with this, and then oh, it's hard, yeah. to, hard yeah. to sort through. But in certain situations, like a really nice bottom drag is the best situation. Um, so it can depend on the area and whatever fish you're going after. You're a YouTuber? Dude, I'm, I'm not tech savvy, man. That's not tech savvy, that's an iPhone, Ryan, come on. <laughs> I think you should do an overhand swipe to the right of that garbage and then we'll pick up that garbage. But oh. to the right of that garbage, almost kind of like a very- Overhand Ooh. smash into the garbage. Overhand smash, drag down. You shouldn't get too much muck because there's grass there. Something an overhand smash, drag down and to you and hug the bottom. I'm distracted by these flowers, man. <laughs> you kind of like forget like the beauty of these flowers. Like does it, is, does it get a little lost on you? Oh, overhand smash, drag down. See the gambusia? Gambusia? They've got a nice little sheen to them though. Nice little greenish blue color on them. Yeah. And, and some of the up. females get chunky. Here's what I want you to do. You gotta commit harder, all right? Oh, commit harder? Yeah, oh, so hard enough? you need to, yeah, that was a little too, you need more, more contact time with the bottom maybe. Almost like, not necessarily the force, but it's gotta be the duration. The the swipe has to be a little longer. Commit to it. Okay. Kind of hug the bottom and okay. Yeah, okay. like finish. I, I even gritted my teeth on that one. You get a violent, <laughs> your violent strikes. That was violent. What do you? You told me to do overhead. Yeah, Gambusia Central. So we got a baby bass. So that is baby bass. The only reason I know that is because I caught me the other day and Zane told me. <laughs> oh wow! But they actually have that red on the fin. Huh? Red on the back. Like fin. a small mouth, long, uh, large mouth. I believe it's a large mouth. I believe it's a baby largemouth bass. Huh. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You saw the red at all? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the red on the tail fin. And then the other one, we got another darter, another small darter. So I wonder if they uh, they were breeding recently, because these are small and kind of narrow. Usually mm -hmm. the darters are bigger and thicker. Two more native species, or another oh, native cool. species. Yeah. You know, people ask all the time. I've had people think, dude, don't collect the turtles. Don't eat the turtles. I'm like, dude, I'm not eating the turtles, bro. <laughs> I had the same guy come up to me three times. Dude, don't eat those turtles. You can't eat them. Like, I'm Bird. Not, I don't like them. Oh man, look at those purple flowers out there, man. Look at how cool this looks. That is pickerel weed. Pickerel weed? Yes, I believe. Thank you for knowing things, Ryan. I appreciate I that, that as a host. <laughs> what do you think? This is probably an apple snail shell? 
I believe so. I've seen them around. There's, there's definitely a few spots I go to. All right, so secret spot number three of the day. So I can already see that we've got some clothes hangers in there. So clothes hangers, we've got some debris. Okay, so the scariest environment imaginable. First netting of this little spot. Oh, no! You just jumped out of frame. What are you doing to me, Lee's Killifish? It's actually kind of awesome that our first swipe. Lee's Killifish, man. Good stuff. It was a spot number quattro. So we got some flag fish in here, you're saying? There's definitely something darting around in there. Yeah. Intercepted. Gambusia, uh, Lee's Killy. Okay. What is that guy? Is that a different model? Mm, no. So many tadpoles. So spot number four is Tadpole Central. A lot of glare from the sun, but it's like a tadpole highway in here. Flagfish. Yeah? That's exciting. Oh, that's mud. Smaller one. Cool. Yeah. I would get up under here, like come right here, and just get down and just dig up on the side and come up. Oh, oh, yeah, was your prediction correct? Yep, yep, yep. Wow, that's a, <laughs> that's a pretty one. But no, no females? That one right there. Darter? That is going to be, the fact that it's the black speckles, that's melanistic. Usually those are only in males, but it could be a female melanistic, which would be crazy. Is that a top minnow though? It's a top minnow for okay. sure, yeah, sorry. Now, true to their name, do top minnows hang out at the top, or are they... Typically, yes. Oh, top minnows! Heck yeah. Yeah. Two of them. Oh, holy smokes, Randy! What'd you get? What? Holy, Hold on. holy smokes, Randy! I got a top minnow in my hand, Dude. and Ryan is just... Did you get a diamond ring? Dude. What is he... <laughs> what do you have? Oh! <gasps> Whoa. Look at the size of Look that. Look at that chunk. Look at that chunk, man. Oh, I've never seen one that big in my life. That's like aquarium specimen, bro. Nick, dude, he's not even that long. He's like chunky. Yeah, man. Good job, dude. Was it, where was it? Did you just do like dude, a- Dude, like, come, you want are to they, there. Yeah, Are they I those did, chunks right I did there? the exact same strategy I told you, but I did it over there. Oh. Oh, that's like, that's up to my knee. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells good. You, see that you might be. Right it's, got, it's got a white and black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. That's that's a that's a melanistic gambusia. But that's not the one you got, though. No, that's the one I was trying to, <laughs> to miss, though. You got him. He's coming towards you, maybe. Nope. <laughs> Just scared him away. That's all. He's deeper, but he's kind of by you. He's. You 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 still see him? He's like right in front of you. All right, so we're gonna hold Ryan to this. He says this is Gambusia Holbrookii with these Dalmatian kind of spots on them. They're definitely not common compared to the other Gambusia. Dude. What'd you get? It's a pygmy sunfish. Nice. I just caught a pygmy sunfish here. That's how we do things on the West Coast. Woo -hoo -hoo. Every time I screw around on camera, something happens to me. You all right? <laughs> I don't know what that was, man, but something stung me. You got a little sting? Yes. I just had to do that last cast, didn't I? That last one. Are we blinking yet? Blinky, blinky. Yeah. Spot number five. Why are my fingers so spaced apart? My hand is messed up. Maybe it's because of the sting. How's my hand do? I'm like, why, is, why do my fingers look far apart? Here, get rid of that spider. Yeah. Uh. Oh Whoa! my god! Look at that thing! <laughs> is he eating a fish? Uh, oh, those are just his arms. They're not really a fish. Oh! You know red? Oh, nice. Whoa. What you got? A million shrimp. Sunfish! Pygmy sunfish! Yes! 
Wow, look at that guy. Look at that blue. Wow. You see the blue speckles? Probably oh, a male yeah. then. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a lit up male. Oh, so, dude, that's a gorgeous looking male, yeah. bro. They don't all look like that, Randy. Well, you know, Ryan, <laughs> when you got the touch, you got the touch. This is what they normally look like, Randy. Right. That's normally what they look like. The one you oh, caught- that could, that could be a girl though. Yeah, it could yeah. be, but the one you caught was like a lit up male. Yeah. Like that was gorgeous. He was probably trying to hit on a girl and then I ruined it. Wasted all of his good color on me. What do you got? Pirate what? perch. A what? Pirate perch. These are rare fish. Zane, I caught a couple last time with Zane. They actually have their butt next to their mouth. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, what is this? What is this? Is that top minnow? Oh, that's a blue spot. That's a blue spot sunfish. They're a pygmy sunfish that only gets, that's a gorgeous looking fish. Blue spot sunfish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice catch. That's a cool one. Oh, geez. Why are you going so far ahead of me? I'm watching out for snakes. I've been here once before. Hey, are these, uh, Bromeliads or the air plants? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Wow, yeah. yeah. All right, there. You, so you're doing that thing where you leave me? Oh, wow, look at this one. Dude, look at this plant. It's like, what about the snake dangling in front of your face? That is awesome. Well, guys, I hope I come back. And now you see what I'm talking about where it's a little different type of collecting. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely more like what we did in, uh, in Peru, yeah. Are you cool to walk through this? It's gonna be deep, but it's gonna be about this wet. I, I mean, the wet doesn't bother me. Okay. It's the, you need to step on the critters before I do. Yeah, that's fine. So cool. And so right now, this is like floodplains kind of. So this was, a Ryan was saying that this is a river last time. Like a little small little creek, if you will, but dry land where we've basically just been sloshing through um, kind of all the floodplain. So, you know, the fish are no longer concentrated in just the, the little stream. They're now kind of everywhere, so. Makes it tough, but this seems like how they would catch the cardinal tetras, right? Where they just go through the floodplains and catch them that way. And yeah, this water is just super tannic looking and you know, just like tea. Gotta find clear water, but. Right here. One hundred percent got that on film. That was a fall. See, you're going too fast, Ryan. You gotta go slow with me. Oh, oh wow, what the heck is that? That is the fattest darter I've ever seen. I think it's a black black banded darter. Oh wow. That's a metallic shiner. I think it's I think it's a metallic shiner. Some kind of shiner. The the fat one? This one right here. Yeah. What'd you? You're just going for the Gatorade bottle? I was going got, for the Gatorade bottle. And you just got a bunch of fish? That nuclear power plant does a good job of uh, <laughs> cleaning up the water. <laughs> that does nothing. You tried to bathe in nuclear waste? That's the warning that all this excess water is just sewage? That's what that is. That's superhero status, man. But it's gonna be like a third arm that doesn't even work. It just gets in the way, it just gets caught on things. Oh, there's one, there's one. Okay, that could be good. A little crushed, but it could be good. Oh, it's cracked. <gasps> yeah! Yes! Oh, it's a crayfish. Oh, that's funny, that was cool. That's funny, though. <laughs> Let's go around that way. Yeah, this is what we yeah, forded. That's the opening right there. I'm just saying, we just gotta go. I think we cross over here is easier. Whoa, it's slippery, man. Oh. Is it just through here? Yeah, just gotta cross again. The lack of food can cause indecisiveness. That's when my survival instinct has to kick in. We're lost in suburban Orlando. Not too bad. We made it. Yeah, gorgeous day. 